but there is the formal party and gathering to go to as well and all these formalities when Venus Williams at this point wants to be anywhere else but these are just a magical moments for Garbina Muguruza holding the Venus rosewater dish one of the most beautiful trophies in sports well I think Venus wants to be there too I mean you say I got to the Wimbledon final again she at her age I think she's pretty darn proud that she's part of this even though she lost you could say that's it was youth over experience. I mean, maybe the legs finally gave out at 37. The mind, and the body just wasn't up to the task. And 23 year old with a lot of energy and intensity prevailed. It's been a rather dark and gloomy day outside here at Wimbledon. With a smile and the flash bulbs lighting up center court. What can she achieve now, said French Open champion last year, Wimbledon champion this year. I mean, there have been the, the mentions of inconsistencies throughout her career. She has come and gone, and when she's on her game, she is, as we saw today, unbeatable. She's got to find that consistency, and she could win however many more Grand Slam titles. When I first saw her win the French, I thought she had a half dozen in her. Yeah. I had my doubts when I started to watch her and the way she was handling it was tough. But I believe that she's back on track to do that very thing. She's added to her game. I think Conchita Martinez has been a blessing for her. She's certainly a better player, more consistent player. She's always battled. She's always been confident. She's improving. She's learning. So that was a lot of good signs for her. Well, to all four sides of centre court she goes. And they'll be watching this keenly, I'm sure, in, uh, in Venezuela as well. Caracas born, her mother is uh, from Venezuela, father from Spain. And neither parents here, they can't bear to watch either. They get a bit tight watching, so they'll be watching perhaps in Spain. Considering how tough things are in Venezuela, I'm sure this is uh, a breath of fresh air. She has that dual nationality, but Spain, her home now. And the two are around the court by both players. And you wonder now what the future might hold for, for Venus Williams. She, she has said she'll be back, and she's still... There'll be a lot read into this in that second set, and, oh, age has caught up with her. I'm not sure it's as simple as that. She played well throughout the championship, but, again, she's 37 now. We shall see what, what the future holds for her. Well, obviously, the combination of the emotional aspect of this great game and the physical one go hand in hand, and you don't know which one hit her first. Truthfully, was she bummed out because she blew that lead and that suddenly got her physically tired? Was there something going on the entire match? Did the emotions of what had gone on with her accident weeks ago affect her suddenly in this final? Was there sickness, the Sjogren syndrome? Did that come into play that she's been battling for the past five or six years? I don't know if we'll ever know, because I doubt she's going to tell us. But these are the moments that any champion remembers and takes on for years and years and years to come. Even those in the, in the Royal Box have the camera phones out to capture the star of the show and of the day. And Gabinia Muguruza, no, not done yet. Just put that there for a moment. I'm sure somebody will watch it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody will keep an eye on it. And we'll maybe see Serena Williams back in the Australian Open. That's what she's targeting. But, uh, well, a former king... Juan Carlos of Spain watching on, his uh, son now the reigning monarch, not here. He was here for Nadal's win back in 2008, and Venus Williams takes her leave of centre court, the covered centre court, which has seen a, in the end, one-sided final of the Ladies' Singles Championship. And she probably doesn't want to leave at all. Stay forever in this court where she has just... Blown away Venus Williams in the second set. Careful. 